Blessings, people of God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters in Christ. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Praise the living God. Brothers and sisters, I want to release a prophetic word today, okay? And it piggybacks off of last Saturday's message. And the title of that message was something like, You Are Not Stuck but prepare to be amazed, even though certain things in your life are not making sense right now, right? And the Lord said in that message that he was the one that was standing you still. Because what God is about to do for many of you that are watching and listening today is going to be unbelievable. It is going to be supernatural. It is going to be a miracle, okay? Something that only God Almighty can perform for you, amen? So with that being stated, people of God, I believe that the Lord gave me more insight concerning that word this morning. The Lord spoke to me and he said, Shanika, tell them, I'm switching the systems around. I'm switching the systems around and it will happen without warning. And as a result, God said, my people will receive from me what they have been contending for, what they have been praying for, what they have been believing for, said the spirit of the Lord, my God. But brothers and sisters, before I get into the rest of this message, you all know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. Why? Because I'm just a messenger. I'm just a vessel that the Lord uses to speak what is on his heart. And at the end of the day, people of God, the Lord is the only one that is going to have the answers that you seek. Okay. Also, 1 John chapter 4 tells us to what? Test the spirit. That means to go to God about anybody that's speaking to your life. Amen. And 2 Timothy teaches us to study to show ourselves approved. Why? Because when we study the Holy Scriptures, we learn something, y'all. We acquire knowledge, we get wisdom, we get understanding. God heightens our discernment and we get to take what we learn from the Holy Scriptures and weigh them against the prophetic messages, right? Talk to God about it, weigh it against the information that we are receiving from people. I hope that makes sense, y'all, okay? Also, people of God, I have to emphasize this. This word is only for those of you that have been obedient to God in good times and bad times, okay? Meaning that not only did you give God praise and glory for what he was doing in your life, but during those times of trouble, you did not take matters into your own hands, but rather you trusted God to be your shield. You trusted God to be your protector. You trusted God to vindicate you and bring judgment against all the wickedness that has been thrown your way up until now, okay? That's who this word is for. So as I said earlier, God said that he is going to switch the systems around for his beloved and that it was going to happen without warning. And as a result of this people of God, the Lord is saying that his people will receive what they have been believing for, what they have been contending for, what they have been praying for. Now, brothers and sisters, the phrase switching systems is what really stood out to me. And I remember asking God what he meant by systems. And he said, Shanika, when I say systems, switching the systems, he said, I'm talking about the systems of the world. I'm talking about the systems of humanity. And he said, I'm going to cause them to work in your favor in various areas of your life. My God, let me say that again. God said when he switches the systems around, he means that he will cause humanity. He will cause the things of the world to favor you in various areas of his sons and daughters' lives, said the Spirit of the Lord. People of God, when I heard this in my spirit, I looked up the definition of systems and it said that it meant something like a set of things working together as part of a mechanism or an interconnecting network right? Something like that. And as soon as I finished reading the definitions of systems, God began to minister to me and break this definition down from a spiritual perspective, which I believe makes this word so powerful, people of God, because it means that God's hand is at work to make things happen in your life. And because God is spirit, 
every work that he performs in the earth and for his people are considered to be supernatural. Why? Because God is the only one that can perform the work. You can't do it. I can't do it. No human being can do it except by his Holy Spirit. And this perspective is confirmed in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. It says something like, now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Somebody says, well, Shanika, what's your point? My point to you, brothers and sisters, and I need for you to listen carefully. When the Lord says that he is switching the systems to bring forth your promise, to bring forth your blessing, to bring forth your miracle or the breakthrough, that many of you have been anticipating until now, you have to know it to be true. Why? Because as we just stated, God is spirit. Secondly, God cannot lie. Thirdly, God is the only one that can perform what we need or desire in our lives. And lastly, the word of God tells us that there is nothing or no one that is above him because God is omnipresent. God is alpha, omega, first and the last. God is almighty. Hallelujah. So with all that being stated to foundate this message, this is what I hear the Lord saying, people of God. Listen, God says it is time for a miracle. It's time for a supernatural shift to transpire in your life. Therefore, without warning, God is going to switch the systems of the world to release your wealth transfer, to release the money to release the housing, to release the building, or to release the investments that you need to get unstuck in your life right now. God says, without warning, he is going to cause the wicked giants in your land to suddenly be confused and be removed from their power and position so that you get to take your rightful place in your land. God says, without warning, he is going to destroy the devourer and the spirit of theft so that you get back what Satan stole from you on your job in that church or in your family, says the Spirit of the Lord. God says without warning, he is going to switch the hearts and mindsets of prominent people, influential people to recognize the light that you carry so that the right doors, the right opportunities and godly people will be open to welcome you, says the Spirit of the Lord. I also hear God saying that there is someone that is watching or listening today and you have been dealing with an illness or you've been battling a sickness for a few years. And like the lady with the issue of blood, you have seen several doctors for your condition but they cannot pinpoint exactly what is going on with you. The doctors have not been able to help you get better, but rather, like the woman, your condition has actually gotten worse over time. And as a result, you have been suffering in silence because this illness makes you feel insecure. This illness makes you feel unwanted. It makes you look deformed. It makes you feel handicapped. It makes you feel physically unable. My God, this sickness messes with your mind and tries to tell you that you are crazy. This illness makes you feel less than a man or less than a woman. And you have lost hope in God's ability to heal you. Why? Because as of today, you have not been healed by doctors and you have not been healed after you have prayed. But I hear God saying right now in my ears, beloved, if you will touch my garment with your faith right now, if you will pray to me as if you have nothing left to lose by faith, God says, I will change the systems in your body and heal you. And I will restore you, says the Lord, because nothing has changed about me. God says, I am still in control of all things in the earth and the universe. And I am still bringing miracles of healing the sick to pass in the lives of my sons and daughters, says the spirit of the Lord. So brothers and sisters, this is me, Shanika, speaking a word of encouragement into your life right now. I know that many of you do not think that the day will ever come where God is going to bring the breakthrough, the miracle, okay, the supernatural encounter, the healing, the wealth transfer, the money, or whatever else God has promised you. But I want to tell you, 
that it is going to happen. I have so many testimonies of God suddenly bringing things to pass in my life that I thought was completely dead. I thought that God forgot about me, but he didn't. So I can confidently attest that one day when you least expect it, it is going to happen for you too. It's going to be unbelievable for you. How many of you know how? How many of you know why this is going to happen? Because you have been contending for so long for what God said that he would do in your life that your experiences are now embedded in your hearts and in your minds. And as a result, God is now able to retrieve what you've been believing for because the Bible says what? That your heart is the first thing that God sees. Your heart is the first thing that God examines. I believe that this is why the Lord purposely allows lots of time to pass before he grants his promises to you, before he grants the blessings and the restoration and healing in your life, because he wants you to be able to appreciate it better so that you will steward what he gives you from a spirit of excellence and from a spirit of gratefulness. Does that make sense, y'all? God is not a man that he shall lie and his word will not return to him void. He's going to switch the systems in your favor if you will continue to stand still, if you will continue to believe and wait for God patiently, okay, to bring these things to pass. My prayer is that the Lord will position you to embrace this breakthrough, this miracle, this supernatural occurrence with great faith and peace and contentment, knowing that God is going to perform it eventually. It is going to come to pass and God is going to honor his promises to you in the name of Jesus. And I also want to touch and agree with the child of God that has been burdened by that illness for many years. I pray that God will ignite the gift of faith in your life right now in the name of Jesus so that you can use it to touch the garment of Jesus Christ in prayer, to release the miracle of healing, to release the miracle of being fully restored in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit in the mighty name of of Jesus. I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days. In Jesus' holy name, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it, okay? And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed, Day. Bye.